morning, everyone. So today I'll be talking about uh, certain situations, how to manage nucleus in different kinds of cataracts, and what are the complications that can happen in these cases. So the issues with soft cataracts, one, that the capsular excess tends to run away, and secondly, the risk of posterior capsular rupture while doing uh, FACO emulsification. So how do we take care of this? So rexis, the problem with rexis and soft cataracts is that usually these are young patients and they have a very elastic capsule with a significant vitreous upthrust. So there is a chance of rexis running away. If that happens, we begin with a cystotome and we feel that if the rexis is running away, you can use a forceps and pull the rexis back. It gives us a better control. Now in FACO emulsification, the issue is that in softer cataracts, we tend to operate on lower vacuum settings, which eventually leads in poor holding capacity. Whereas in hard cataracts, we keep uh, better settings, we operate on a higher vacuum and gives us a good hold. Along with this, the epinucleus is very sticky and we struggle to pull it into the center and to really chop. All this leads towards the tendency of operating in the peripheral unsafe zone, which can uh, lead to an untoward complication of posterior capsular rupture. So let's see how we can deal with these cataracts. So this is one of the videos, it's a soft cataract, a relatively younger patient. What we are doing here is that we are rotating the nucleus and making sure that apart from removing all the loose cortical matter, we are also going in and trying to remove a little bit of the anterior epinuclear plate so that the sticky anterior epinuclear plate is out and it's much more easier for us to manipulate the nucleus. So again, we are rotating and trying to aspirate as much as we can and free the nucleus so that we can eat it very easily and chop it very safely. So again, we are going ahead, removing the epinuclear plate, and then we can just use the chopper. We can actually prolapse the whole nucleus. So here we are just using the chopper. Now that it's freed from the sticky epinucleus, we can prolapse the entire nucleus since it's very soft, and we don't really need much of FACO energy. In this case, we can directly chop it into two halves, and then we can emulsify it. So this makes it very, very easy. Now, this is another case. So one of the tips is that we do a good a hydro delineation and then again we are going to go ahead and remove all this loose epinuclear uh, plate along with the anterior epinuclear uh, plate and again free the nucleus throughout rotate it so we are going ahead and doing this all throughout see how far we are going into the periphery. As beginners, if you feel a little, uh, you know, it's a little risky to go that peripheral, we can limit ourselves, but at least make sure that the nucleus is not, it's a little freer, so that it's easy for us again to prolapse. So here we are making a trench, dividing it into two, and then we can emulsify it. 